Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. Uh, it is January 4th, Friday morning. Happy Friday. And uh, markets just opened about a minute ago. And what I have here, I've structured it so that we have the ES on the top part of the left side chart. And we also have the stock and I've linked it with uh, the yellow so that uh, we can look at both the stock that we are interested in as well as the overall markets at the same time. And I think this is a better view of uh, how we want to uh, tackle this. So um, this is where we stand. And what I want to do is uh, just wait for a few minutes and see how the market shape up uh, at the open. Of course, it was uh, the ES is looking very strong. However, uh, what, uh, what is happening is it, it's uh, moving back a little bit. And so the first few minutes are always going to be a little volatile. And so I just want to take a pause and just uh, review the situation and come back. I actually think uh, Goldman Sachs is looking pretty good. Uh, it's up about 3.6 and uh, now that you can see that uh, even the uh, markets are turning around. So let's go ahead and take a trade on uh, Goldman Sachs and let's uh, I have something here. I'm going to delete that. And if you wanted to go on the call side, obviously we want to do that today. And uh, this this expires today. And so what I want to do is uh, go slightly in the money and uh, let's take a look at the 172.5 call. Let's do uh, a five contract position on that here. 1.41 mid price 1.41. So I think I'll take that and let's see if we can get filled. I think we should get a better price actually. Um, let's see 1.38. We are offering 1.41. So this should get filled. Let's continue to look at the market watch and I'm looking at the day trades uh, uh, situation here. Goldman Sachs looks the most promising. Uh, however, the S&P seems to want to pull back a little. That's and that's fine because we, you know, the S&P today is up about 35 points. OK, there we go. We got filled. Uh, and uh, so we are in on Goldman Sachs and that is on the lower part of the left side chart. And also what we have is the ES here. We also may want to put the spider there uh, just so that we have an apples to apples comparison in terms of uh, a stock uh, compared to the Goldman Sachs, which is a which is a stock also. So I have the spider there and uh, let's watch the spiders and let's watch Goldman Sachs and uh, see how things go. I'll pause it here and we'll come back. OK, so as you can see, the S&P is moving higher. The Gold, uh, Goldman Sachs is uh, pulling back a little bit. Now, this is a very small trade. Uh, we've got only $600 on this trade and actually uh, there was a profit of about $150, which is 25%. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I didn't take it because I think it can go more, especially given that the S&P is punching up. So and uh, Goldman Sachs is slowly moving up now. So I'm just going to keep the trade open and let's see how, how best we can deal with this. If it goes down to about $200 negative, I would want to double down. So that would be the risk management and that would be the, the plan to uh, come back to uh, come back to profit as quickly as possible. But it looks like now Goldman is sinking in with uh, uh, with the S&P as well. So let's just keep an eye out on this. I'll, I'll, I'll be back shortly. All right, uh, folks, uh, it's about uh, we are about, uh, let's say, about 37 minutes into the trade and uh, Goldman is going down. The S&P had a good ride up, but Goldman did not cooperate through that. Anyway, it's down about 270. So I'm going to double down like we planned, like I planned rather. And uh, I'm going to double down and bring the cost average down. OK, so we are in on the double down and let's uh, see what the situation is. We're down about 300. But now our cost have, uh, cost of the trade is about 980. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to hold on to this for a little bit more, but won't want the losses to go more than 400 or 500. Hey, folks, uh, if almost an hour into the trade, as you can see, maybe, uh, the S&P as well as Goldman making a very good move. So we are up about close to $400. Now, this has become a $980 trade. And so this is almost $400. So you know, about 35-40%. So why not? And uh, the signals can change anytime. And so I don't want to take that risk 370. I'll take it. So I'm going to close this trade. And let's get the best price possible. That's about 131. That's fine. Okay, 132. We got uh, so I think we are out on the trade and made about 340 on a trade of nine nine uh, nine eighty dollars about 30% on this trade. So the signal services is on and uh, this is starting live on Monday and uh, the bit.ly link is bit.ly slash day hyphen signals. If you have any questions, you can send us an email at info at optiontiger.com.